Dave Riggs. It's all smiles. You're winning the state championship at the semifinals in Division I 2014 by 110 points. Are you guys going to show up tomorrow, or are you going to send the water boy to get the team trophy? <laughs> no, we're going to show up. We, we, uh, we try and get as many state champs as we can here. We got seven in the finals. We went for seven for seven in uh, semis. We got three kids coming back, so we placed ten. It's, it's just awesome. How many rabbit foot, horseshoes, four leaf clovers did you bring with you? Well, my grandson gave me a lucky quarter the, this morning. I had spent my pocket ever since, so I started to take all the change in my pocket and I got it mixed up with another one, so I just kept them both there. The funny thing about it is you guys are anything but that. You guys are so blue collar. Yes. You guys are just hard nosed. You're one of the hard, most hard nosed guys I've ever met. A bear got in your popcorn one time. <laughs> Got you in the neck. I know that story, but oh, yeah. you, uh, you know, you guys are so hard nosed, and you're the guy who it all comes from. I mean, mm -hmm. it like it's almost like trickle down economics. Mm -hmm. It starts, you know, it starts with you. But talk about that and that attitude and where you get it from. You know, um, my junior high coach Bob Cuts. Uh, I kind of got it from him. He's never wrestled before, but I remember Jay Robinson uh, going to his camp, and uh, he snuck me in there at lunchtime because we were flat broke and. He's, you know, was helping me out back then when I started wrestling in eighth grade, and it kind of took off from there, you know. And, uh, so I owe a lot for them, and uh, a lot of our high school buddies, uh, Mike Potts, wrestled Michigan State, Keith Fox, and Randy Glover, Mike Spur, a bunch of guys from my old high school are here uh, supporting us, and I'm looking forward to seeing those guys tonight, too. You just said Randy Glover, and I thought I was going to drop my camera and run. Yeah, we're, we're from the same neighborhood. From Coventry. Oh, yeah. That guy's hard-nosed. Oh, yeah. He was the heart and soul of all those Coventry teams, Johnny McGee. Atkins, Tompkins, Damon Stow, all those guys. He was he was the heart and soul of that. So I guess I see where the toughness comes from now. Well, our high school is pretty hardcore. Um, needless to say, I, I tell stories, but now that I got guys here to back it up, you know, I can tell the rest of the story because some of them won't believe some of the stories we had. <laughs> those guys are scary guys, but oh yeah, tough guys. Oh but, yeah. But when you look at it's the team race is over. You you grammed right. everybody. Right. You did what they've done for you know 14 years straight in Division Two. How much can you now tell the guys to go out for those seven championships and whoever else you got left? Yeah. Guys, all the pressure's off. Go win yeah. your title. Is that, is that the message? Uh, they never really had pressure really on them. Tiring. I mean, um, you know, we, we run our practices that way. I mean, we're really tough on top. And we can score in every position. You know, it's just, we're just hardcore, you know, and our guys are in shape. Uh, they're humble. I mean, they're just hard workers. They're, they're like business, you know. Uh, we've got a last guy making weight. We're all weighing up. We're going to go sit down and have a nice dinner. I understand seven for seven was the perfect scenario in a perfect world. This is not a perfect world, but apparently it's a Perry Panther perfect world tonight. That was an alliteration. But you guys had a great night. What was your? What were you honestly thinking? You weren't thinking seven for seven. I knew you probably thought it, but what was the realistic number in your head? You know, I thought five or six. I said last week. Um, I mean, there's going to be some tough battles. You know, Nick Steed's kind of new. He's an outstanding student, and here he is in the state finals. And uh, Jake Newhouse, uh, first year varsity. You know, uh, he's coming on. He wrestled behind Rodriguez, Tommy Jenatin. He he wrestled behind guys last year. So, let, you know, some of these three of these guys are first year varsity in our lineup. You know, so here they are in the finals. Four champs. The record two years ago. Are you going to challenge the guys to break four? I think that, um, that, uh, you know, probably so. I, mean, I can see that happening. You know, it's just, I mean, just going out and doing their best. You know, I mean, we're not going to focus so much just on that. But, you know, four champs is that's hard to do in Ohio. You know, now we got seven in the finals. And, um, you know, I got to look at our matchups. Uh, we're going to go back, go back to work with our kids and straighten a few things out with them if, if need be. And uh, we're going to get after them. We're going to get as many as we can. You've always done a great job of keeping Perry Panthers at Perry. You know, Jonathan, you bring him back. Oh, yeah. You always, you know, John Foster does strength and conditioning with oh, your guys. Yes. You've always done a great job of keeping guys around and attracting your Tim Hendersons. You only played in the NFL and won two state titles. Right. You know, was the captain for the Buckeyes, won the national title. Drew Lashway, you've got all these guys. How do you attract such great coaches? Um, you know, they're all good people. You know, and, and that's what I want around me, just a bunch of good people. And um, you know, Pat McLemore, I mean, they're, they're just a bunch of good guys. They're good coaches. Uh, we're grateful our school, uh, you know, uh, they're, they're all, most of them are on the staff and teaching, and uh, they're good teachers. They're, they're just great people. Danny Jennington, wrestler with Ashland, he's a former wrestler for us, and he's doing an outstanding job in the classroom, too, so it makes it easy when you get guys like that. All right, Coach, I'm looking for that record tomorrow. Hopefully we can talk. Maybe you'll let me touch the trophy tomorrow or something like that. 
I know. Do you have a place for it or anything yet, or is that not even a thought? You know what? Uh, I'm just really happy. You know, take it back to our community. Uh, wrestling is really important in our school. Uh, we created it, you know, and, and we treat everybody with class. You know, it's, it's important. You know, I, I had to learn how to do that. You know, and like I said, I've been through a lot, and uh, I just want to be a, a better person and do a better job coaching. You know, and when you get good guys around you, they're good people. It's, it's a lot easier too. And your guys' first state champ was in 1989, Gary Devine, correct? Uh, for Perry, yes. I, I mean, did, do you ever envision it? You come in and you, and you have this program. Did you ever envision, envision, envision it to be nine-time runner-up, now the champs? Well, I had some pretty high goals. In 1982-83, I mentioned that we wanted to be state champions. I was at another school at that time, and uh, Howard Ferguson really motivated me. He's the guy who got me going. And I recall uh, walking up to him and shaking his hand and saying, boy, thank you very much for what you're doing in Ohio. And I was just out of college. You know, I just got back from Arizona and and, um, you know, I remember shaking his hand telling him that. And I, here I am still talking about him to this day. I didn't think it'd take this long, uh, but it did, you know. So uh, that guy set the bar, and uh, he, he started all this. And Ohio's a great wrestling state, and to have seven guys in the finals is, wow, that's hard to do in Ohio. And uh, St. Ed's has done it. Uh, Graham's doing it in Division Two. you know, but it's our first year for that, so we're pretty proud of it. God forbid the bus accident. You'll be here tomorrow to get the team trophy. We'll talk afterwards. Well, there's no bus. Uh, we stay at the hotel. We were walking, so I don't, I'm not taking any chances there, you know. But I do want to say, man, my family is just awesome. Uh, you know, they, they've been so supportive of me over the years. My just my step uh, children, uh, Jamie and Clint Musser, and uh, my son Ryan. My daughter Angie, uh, the grandkids are calling me, you know, saying "Go Panthers," you know. So it's pretty awesome. And I, you know, and I think back, you know, it's just all the sacrifice and the years I put in for other kids, and uh, you know, here they are calling, and you know, I don't forget them, man. They're they're really special to me. All right, coach. Good luck. We'll talk tomorrow. Hey, thanks a lot.